Hello everyone. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, download DaVinci Resolve 18 on uh, Windows 11. So uh, the first thing you need to do is go to uh, this website right here at the top, uh, www.blackmagicdesign.com slash product slash DaVinci Resolve. And this is where you'll be able to uh, download the program. And to, uh, to get the free version, you just scroll down a little bit from the homepage. And it's this uh, button right here with the little arrow pointing down for the free version. If you want to get the uh, the full the full version of DaVinci Resolve 18, then you need to purchase it for $295. But if you're going with the free version, you just uh, click the down arrow button right here. And then right here, this pop-up will come up. And then uh, either one of these, uh, you can choose the DaVinci Resolve Studio. 18.6 is a little bit more powerful than normal DaVinci Resolve. So uh, whatever you're going to need, uh, that's just the one you need to choose. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use uh, DaVinci Resolve 18.6. And since we're on Windows, we're going to click these, this red Windows button right here. And then now it's going to uh, ask you to fill in some information, which I'll do right now. So the information it's going to ask for is for your first name, last name, uh, email, phone, your country, your street, your city, uh, your state, your zip code, and then the product information. These two boxes you can just leave empty. And after you fill it out, you press down uh, the register and download button in the bottom right. You scroll down and then you'll get this uh, pop up right here that says thanks. And it will start downloading the zip file you need to install uh, the program. If it doesn't work, uh, if it doesn't start after probably 20 seconds, I would hit the uh, red button right here in the middle, the DaVinci underscore resolve 18.6.4 underscore windows dot zip. And then after that, you just wait for it to download. Um, so after you download it, you want to grab it, drag it onto your, uh, your desktop. After that, you want to right click it, hit extract all. And then, uh, this will pop up right here. And uh, after that, you wanna select your file location. And if you're fine with it, uh, hit extract. And then it's going to stripe um, extracting. So after it's done extracting, uh, this file will open up. Uh, if, uh, if a file did not open up after it's done, then you probably need to click it. It should look like this right here. And then once the file opens up, you want to go ahead and double click the uh, program inside it and uh, wait for it to load. So it's uh, first going to start extracting. Um, and then uh, once it's done extracting, you'll want this will pop up and you want to say uh, you want your to allow this app to make changes on to your device. You want to hit yes. And then uh, after that, the Resolve uh, installer will pop up. And um, if, since these are all the uh, programs you can also install within uh, DaVinci Resolve. So uh, pick which ones you want or the ones you don't want. Uh, the bottom one is the most important. I suggest just leaving it as is. And then once you select uh, what you need to check, go ahead and press install in the bottom right. And then you got to it's going to take a couple minutes to install the program. So once that's installing, uh, another window will pop up. Um, it will say, uh, welcome to the DaVinci Resolve Setup Wizard. Uh, first thing you do is you press next. Um, go ahead and read the license and agreement. Uh, you can read it if you want. Uh, check the box and hit next. Uh, this is where to uh, the folder where the or well the program and all the folders will install to. So um, I I usually just leave it as it is. But if you want to change it, uh, go ahead press change and choose where the destination's at. After that, press next, and then this last one will pop up. And all you have to do is press install, and then you go ahead and have to let it wait and let it install. So once it's done installing, uh, go ahead and just press finish right here. And then after your, the program's done installing, uh, it's going to want you to uh, restart your computer. 
Um, so now that your uh, computer's done updating, go ahead and just double click the program. The logo is the uh, little little spinner with the three different colors. Um, this will pop up just telling you what's new in the update. Go ahead and just press continue. And then it says you're all ready, so go ahead and just click start. And then it's going to load up. It might it might take a little while, depending on your computer. And then um, right here, the program will open up and it may ask you to upgrade. Uh, you can upgrade or you can leave it as is. For me, I'm just going to leave it as is, so I'm going to press cancel. And then you'll be all good to use the program.